Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danike and you welcome Friday Sabi on Gili Gili. So guys, um, today I am going to prepare with you for um, first semester. Um, and I'm going to share with you 10 tips that I use to get through the semester. And they normally work for me and I've been using them for my undergrad and I will be using them again for my postgrad. So I have 10 tips that I use at the beginning of each semester. So let's get started. Tip number one, um, have a morning routine. By a routine, I mean you wake up, make your bed, brush your teeth or take a shower and do the few things that we have planned for the day. I'm waking up early, not early, 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 around five, no. But waking up early, knowing what you're going to do when you wake up saves you time and you are able to get through all the things that you have to do for that particular day. So basically, you have like sort of a scheduling that, okay, I wake up, make, up, make, make my bed, um, have breakfast and get through my work or I have classes to attend, you know, all of those things. Having a morning routine would make your life very very easier because most of the things you are going to do them on time and that will give you enough time also to rest during the number two um is um having a weekly or a daily planner i prefer a weekly planner because it makes life so much easier so by a weekly planner i have um a weekly planner that i bought at a mr price home so i would plan out my entire week so that i can be able to know which on which on this day i have one two three and i will not plan anything for that day also a weekly planner helps you to have like a sort of a routine and when you have a routine you become productive you get your things done quite early and you get enough time to rest or even go through um the extra work that you have tip number three is meal preps or lunch preps this for me saves a lot of money um buying food um on those shops the cafeterias um, on campus is very expensive if you're being honest so if you have like your lunch box if you know that you're going to be on campus the whole day that's going to save you money a lot of money and also meal preps um during the week so that you avoid having to cook every day number three um it is having um, a stationery so this is very important because um, you are going to have books for each module um, pencils and um, pen all of those things and the most essential one essential ones are Woody you must have okay personally I like that so I have these pens for my notes and then I normally buy exam pads and also an acquire for each module. So this year I have a three for this semester and three next semester I think. So yeah, this is what I use for each module. I write my own notes and then when I'm on, on class I add on what the lecture says. So yeah your module curriculum meaning Mina I create my own schedules for each module so I literally copy um, what um, each module guide says and I have it on my desk okay on my wall so that I can be able to see it every day and I memorize my own way my, my, <laughs> my own handwriting better than anything so having to print it out won't work for me so it's best if I have it written like i do and then i'll be able to see every day it's okay this week we are on this topic next week so i create my own schedules which is copy and paste from the schedules that we already have two i create my own timetable which is what we have and then three i create my own calendar each month i have a calendar but creating a calendar for each month um, makes things easier for me because I know Wuti this month on this day I have a test 
I have an assignment due or you know things like that so I will not make plans for that particular day and also it gives me time to know it's okay you are left with 10 days for before your exam 10 days before your test and having it on my wall keeps me reminded so would you okay we have this and that due soon so prepare having a clean space or an organized space for studying is very important like tafula your table has to be neat um and hair must have all the things that you're going to need while studying your books your pens and everything so normally this is how my desk looks like um simple i do not need more things um this is what i normally use to get through the semester and you must have an effective schedule um so that you can be productive and always know what you have one two and three to do so it is very important to study approach for each module that helps with you um knowing who to find in for example you study the day before prepare for class and then when you get to class we are going to talk here did not understand this part you get to ask or you get to hear what the lecture says about that particular part that you don't understand and also preparing before helps with um when the exams um are close by or you have a am a test when I already have your notes and you only add on or subtract on what you have for preparations in order to ace your tests and then um, it's very important to take day offs that's why I normally plan ahead so that I know it's okay now this is my day off or this is my reward and then um, a very important tip is when you are studying or preparing for classes, it is very important to go to Afundi for more than an hour. No, your mind is going to get tired and you will end up not knowing what you are studying. So um, personally, I've been studying 45 minutes and then a break, probably 10 minutes or even five and then go back to work so breaks are very important and do not study for more than an hour because in those of us we found a lab so we're saying yeah honestly speaking